mean, you have to really like scent. And then I use nail glue. Are we getting our ears? I love this Amazon skirt, it's one size. Nah, 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 nah. <clears throat> oh, they're the same. <laughs> and I love this set. Yo, so I got a question. Does liquor expire? Because I've had this tequila for a long time. <laughs> or does it just get more? What is this? Okay, so maybe it expires in 2025? Wait, no, what does it say? Does it just get more strong after a while? <laughs> That's true. Really First of all, I thought I had vodka, but I don't. I wanted to make a lemon drop. I had my first ever lemon drop at Essence Fest and I really enjoyed it. And I'm like, oh, I like this. I know it has simple sugar and simple sugar isn't necessarily keto, but it's not as bad, I guess. Oh. Ah, so anyway, I want to do my own lemon drop. Well, I don't have vodka, I have tequila. So it's going to be some kind of remix. And I don't be measuring stuff. I just ordered on Instacart lemon juice. I don't care which is which. Maybe y'all be having preferences. I don't know. Comment and let me know if you ever had a lemon drop, that's number one. This is the lemon juice that I got from H-E-B, just whatever, I don't even know how much I need. I guess that's enough. And then here's the simple syrup that I got from H-E-B. I guess that's enough. <laughs> Yo, I don't even measure when I cook food. Who has time to measure a drink? sick of me because I'm making plantain. I have been hooked on baked plantain for a while now. It's crazy. I cut one into four and I'm not baked, excuse me, air fried. I'm about to have that too. But my bootleg lemon job, who knows what this is. Only when I have these cute glasses, you've seen this already from Amazon. Ooh, ow, wow. Okay, we didn't fill it up, but that's okay though. That's okay though. At least it's chilled. So let's taste it. Cheers. You're going to make yours too? Come on, let's go. It's good. It just tastes like spiked lemonade. That's what a lemon drop tastes like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it tastes like a lemon drop. Very light. I mean, overall, compared to any other mixed drink, I don't know every mixed drink in the world, it is light anyway. And it tastes like the lemon drop that I had at Essence. And I had one last night when Ashley and I had gone to Savoir. I want to say Savoir, but that's not how you pronounce it. It's got to be Savoir. I don't know. And I always leave tongue first because I don't be wanting my lip product to get on here. Even if it's a gloss, it just be sticky and annoying. <clears throat> that went down the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I'm so annoyed. <sighs> okay. This is good. Ooh, let's get a piece of uh, plantain. I put it in a napkin because it's just way too hot from the air fryer. Have some. Y'all welcome. Brand unity. Mmm, it was good. It was good. Not a keto day. <laughs> it's not. Ooh, it was hot. Cheers. Lemon drop and plantain. <laughs> good morning. I got my tea, my chai tea latte, by the way. If you're wondering, this is, oh, it's just simple. It's stash. And the reason why it's a latte, because you know, you can do tea where you just put honey and I don't do honey, so I use the frother on my Nespresso machine and then it becomes a latte. Isn't that how they do it at the coffee shops? I don't know. That's just what I be doing. And I use whipping cream and today I use vanilla syrup, skinny syrup, but I usually do chocolate. I just don't know where it is. Yo, so I was just watching a video on YouTube. Oh, you, oh, you can see. I watched an Ashley on YouTube and I already knew this, but it reminded me that I need to go through my closet and I need to purge. And just saying it makes me so sick because there's some stuff that I have not worn, some stuff that I may have just tried on for a video. It's just all kind of things. And the reason why I need to purge is not only is it time, I think about the fact that there are a lot of things that I have not worn in a very long time. And I don't like to hold on to stuff just because it's actually irritating. And because of my job, you know, we buy a lot of clothing. So why not make space for something new? However, the other issue that I have with it is that when shopping and then on this summer glue tie journey, obviously shopping for my size at that time. But then a month later, when I go put the stuff on or whatever the case is, the stuff is too big. So there are a lot of things in my closet that are too big for me. Many items I can still finagle because some stuff I want to be oversized. I just love that look. But a lot of things don't fit. A lot of things don't fit. And that's a good issue to have, but it's still an issue nonetheless because I'm like, dang, yo, dang it, dang it. 
And then I'm not going to hang on to it in case I gain weight because God forbid I gain weight. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not paying all this money to do all this and work and I'm going to work out in, in a bit. I'm not doing all this to come and gain weight again. And nah, 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 nah. Even when I stop the injection, look at my legs. I love them. They're not as jiggly. Ugh. Even when I stop the summer glutide, I'm going to maintain by force or by fire. And I won't even lie to you. If I need to, I will go back on it. I don't care. Okay? Praise the Lord. So I'm like, dang, man, I got to get rid of stuff. And I love what she was saying when she said, shop and find items that you can wear three different ways. Don't shop just for an occasion. Don't say, okay, this dress is just for this event. Okay, can you wear it again? Because if not, you spent 300 on a dress and then you're never wearing it again. You feel me? So I'm like, dang it, that is something to think about. And then I'm thinking to myself, because I give a lot of things away to Goodwill. But don't they sell these things? I want to just give it to someone. I'm not charging you for this. So I don't like that whole Goodwill idea. I do give random things away, but to do a whole bulk of giveaway, I don't want to just give it to Goodwill where they're going to go make money. I want to just give it to someone or people and it's free. You feel me? And I remember last, not last year, a few years ago, I gave more tech items and I sent it through Uber because you can send Uber packages and then it just went to the person's house and that was cool. So it just dawned on me and I'm like, I should do that same thing. So by the time this video goes out, will I have already done it? <laughs> I don't know. But there's always surplus. There's always surplus. So if you live in Houston area, if you live in the Houston area, because I will just send it as an Uber package. We don't have to meet. It's none of that. It will just go right to you no matter where you are in the Houston area. Then comment and let me know. Yes, I'm in the Houston area. Actually, DM me on Instagram. That's easier. DM me on Instagram and tell me that you're in Houston area. And then we can figure something out. Because even if it's not through this declutter, there's always stuff. There's always stuff. So I'll keep the address. And your number, please, or email. Well, I have your DM. Then I can let you know that, oh, all right, I'm about to send something on Friday just so you know. Because when you send it, you know, you got to be home to receive the package. I don't want it to be sitting outside on the front door. You know? All right, cheers. Let me eat my, eat my, let me drink my tea. And I'm gonna do card. I'm so behind, but that's fine. I, I just slow start today because I'm just tired. And I don't rest enough, so it is what it is. I'm gonna drink my tea. I wanna do cardio and I wanna do my weights. And do we see abs? I mean, I'm, I'm contracting, obviously. I just leave it and I contract. Hello. Ew, ew, ew. I'm feeling myself, and you know that already. Used to never do what's best for me. I was such a hopeless fool I just kept making the same mistakes, yeah That was until I found you
So I went to the gym today and then I came back. I slicked back my hair with got to be because this is a silk press and gel is water-based. So that would just mess me all the way entirely up. This is a size medium in the Janae Naylor Target collection situation and it's big on me. I'm not going to give this away. I'm going to get it taken in because I just love it too much. And then this skirt from Amazon that I wore. I wore this outfit in St. Lucia and it's one of my favorites. So no i cannot give this away and i'm saying it because normally i would just give things away that are too big and heck no heck no heck no and i'm recognizing that come on we gotta give some little tie to hand a round of applause because the girl is working the girl is working hard and stuff is just so big on me well let's film you know i keep this situation looking just like this it's not aesthetically pleasing at all but it's functional and i have to do what work so i have everything set up and i'm about to film if you need a better view of my outfit, here it is. So cute. I love this Amazon skirt. It's one size. Do you need it? The answer is yes. You need it. Link is below.
y'all, it has been a full day. <laughs> it has been a full day. I'm so irritated. So I meant to start this off earlier and then the day just got ahead of me. We did a lot of the different things today and here we are. Obviously, it's the same day because I'm having the same outfit. Welcome to a new vlog, by the way. We're going to go over some empties that I've been holding on to for the longest time. And i got to do my nails, so we really should do them tonight. Although, I've had to do these for days and I just have not done them because I just don't feel like it. I love doing my nails, but i got to be honest, sometimes I don't feel like it. You feel me? But I'm going to get them done because I feel so naked without them. It just feels so strange. And if you're wondering, this top, this is an old top from Shein. And I'll link everything below. Here's a QR code if you're watching on the television, scanning with your camera on your phone and then you can get a link to all the products that I link on social in general and links to this specific video are down below. So many things. Right behind me, I'm burning a different Forever Mood candle. I forget the scent. This city here is so different for me. So I'm gonna get, I have to get used to it. I got a chair yesterday from Home Goods, and I love it. It's so cute. So I'm gonna be sitting here and stuff. This candle right here, I've had for a minute. This is Grown Folks Business. So, and that's what that candle is. I don't know the name. So whatever. But I stocked up on these a while ago because I love them so much. Grown Folks Business is so strong. It's cinnamon. It is so sexy and gourmand and just beautiful. If you love grown folks business or just forever moon candles in general, you have to comment and let me know. That is really good. Now, I always talk about this, but I just have to remind you because even in the summertime, I love to use these Olay in shower moisturizers. I always call it in shower moisturizers. It's actually, the real name is called Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner. I'm annoyed. Wow, I've been giving myself my own name because the names are too much, okay? So I love these. I have mine subscribe and save. I always tell you that. These are good in the winter time, of course. They're definitely good in the summertime as well because if it's mad hot outside and or I'm on vacation, I may not pull lotion and I might just do this. It just depends. Or at night, if I'm really, really tired and I don't feel like going through all emotions, I will just put that on in the shower, rinse it off, dry off, and I will do my skincare because that's important, and then I'll go to bed. So it works when you don't have time to do too much, but it's also good when you have dry skin like me to do in the shower, rinse off, dry off, and then do your lotion, or then do your oil, you feel me? So depending on the kind of time that I have, that dictates what I'm gonna do. Either way, either way, either way, love this. It feels like putting on lotion in the shower, but it's it feels wrong, but it's right. And I've been doing it for a long time, so I'm just used to it. I use this body wash from Maud. Maud, if you don't know, is a, what is it called? Feminine, you know? Stuff. maybe you're catching my drift there's a there's a proper way there's a commercial way to call it I can't think of it but anyway that's what mod is at Sephora they have a body wash slash bubble bath and that's what I have and I used it it's unscented it's lathers very nicely I kept feeling like where's the scent because it lathered very nicely washed very nicely and I was just missing a scent now this is great if you don't like any kind of fragrance loved it but i was like ah where's the scent i just want to smell something for me showering really anything everything let's let's see let's get to it everything self-care wise is an experience so the scent takes me to a place reminds me of something makes me feel something so because this was unscented i kept feeling like something was missing in the shower all right but if you don't like scents this is great some people might be allergic that if that's your thing then fine this body wash is from rare beauty i will say it's annoying to get the body wash out of the tube i had to squeeze it way too much there's some left over it was irritating me it's too much work to get this out i'm just sick and tired of it it has gen it's it well it literally says right here gentle exfoliating body wash it is very gentle i don't know if this is a chemical exfoliator what i mean by that is you know you'll have exfoliating body washes which i don't have any when i think of body wash that exfoliates I think of a chemical one, okay? Like this one from Naturium, because this is, oh wait, this is not it. Like Naturium has one, it's, a, it's the one that has salicylic acid in it, it's not this one. Like the one from Naturium, they have one of these body washes that has salicylic acid in it, and that is a chemical exfoliator, which is going to eat away at the dead skin and then make your skin feel smooth. This one, I wanna say is manual, only because there are a little bit of, there are little beads in there, although, Either way, I just didn't feel like, I wasn't, I didn't feel convinced. I either need to feel something scrubbing me, even though I use a topo sponge, or, which is a net, African net sponge, or it just shouldn't have any beads in it, and then it should be a chemical exfoliator that I know from after showering or just looking at it, it's going to make my skin feel smooth, and it's going to buff off the dead skin. I mean, this, it was just too gentle for me. It has a nice soft scent which is true, it has a nice soft scent. It has that rare beauty scent. They have a lotion that goes with this. And I feel like, I don't know what, oh, oh, uh, uh, 
body mist that has that scent to it. I'm not too crazy about the scent. Even the body lotion of this is annoying, the pump. I don't know what that's about because I thought that this was supposed to be good if you have, is the word dexterity? If you have issues with your hands. I thought that that was the point of Rare Beauty's the products, right? I mean, I don't, I'm not saying it correctly. You get what I'm saying. I just know that for this, I had to squeeze entirely too hard to get the product out and I don't like that. And it's not that the little tube thing was on there. No, it's, it's open. It just, it takes too much squeezing to get out. It's just ridiculous. I don't like that. Like, let me show you. better than it actually was happening in the shower so let me let me not even do take out the part where i said let me show you because in the shower that wasn't what was happening okay so another body wash is from naturium this is what the energizer one i've been enjoying these body washes i don't know much about mandelic acids so i can't say but i like how this does have something in here that feels like menthol okay so it's a cooling formula that deeply cleanses and neutralizes body odor so that must be an exfoliating ingredient because it's going to kill bacteria right fermented sugarcane that has an odor fighting that is an odor fighting system mm -hmm. all right here okay mandelic acid is a gentle aha ah so just like a glycolic acid maybe mandelic is less harsh yes because i use this day after day and if this was a glycolic acid i would have been feeling extremely dry and i wasn't so mandelic acid is a gentle aha good to know even for your face so if you want to exfoliate your face and you see a product that has mandelic acid in it and you feel like you have sensitive skin or you're nervous about how powerful it will be go with mandelic acid that's good to know i just learned something new i love that okay this is good now y'all be doing washcloths y'all be doing loofahs y'all be doing a support body sponge what y'all be doing because they talking on tiktok and they don't be using first of all some folks ain't even taking a shower okay let's just start there and that's i get it it's cultural but it's never ever gonna be my culture i cannot i mean i remember when i was younger my grandma literally yelled at me so badly because i had gotten out of the shower and she took the towel and wiped my back and was like get back in the shower you didn't even, you didn't even wash your back we're gonna mention this so there's no such thing in my culture of not showering praise the lord this is by being frenchy this one smelled lovely it was a light experience i have body mists or body and hair mists from them this is the scent this is the joy and bliss solar fleur scent it's a renewing body wash again i love the experience it just feels floral sweet delicious delicate you know like a delicate flower like myself it just feels like that when you're showering and that's what i mean by i like my shower to feel like an experience and it has niacinamide in it which helps to lighten dark spots so i really enjoyed this more so for the scent it did get nice and sudsy a great experience all around this i have to say i love the scent it's very strong but it pills on my skin and that is irritating i don't know why i literally wore this last night i was trying to give it one last try and rubbing my legs together i felt crumbled and i'm like what the hell that's pilling that's when the product is crumbling up it it, it, oh, it was annoying to me so this has to go it is strong the scent is english lavender sweet basil jasmine it is strong do you hear me i, I don't i mean you have to really like scent for this okay because odor is foul scent is pleasant you have to really like a good scent it is very rich a little goes a long way i do like this i just wish that it didn't pill i just wish it didn't pill it is a body butter and i know in the beginning i was being heavy-handed but it just last night it pilled again i said screw it it smells so strong and so good it just pills it's annoying all right oh okay this one you can really see it the inky list salicylic acid cleanser i like this because affordable use it on the face and the body wait is it face and body <laughs> uh well i yeah i think it is face and body i can barely see it because it's all it's you know it's, it, the stuff is peeling away okay so it has two percent salicylic acid in it okay so great if you have body acne great if you have yeah your face is your body great if you have body acne okay and put this on your back chest butt wherever i was using this on my armpits and groin area okay to kill bacteria which is going to what cancel out odor it's an everyday routine it's not a one and then your whole life you have no odor no 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 
okay? Our bodies have bacteria on them, good bacteria. Uh, it's gonna happen regardless, right? We just have bacteria on our bodies, but when it comes to the armpits and the groin, any enclosed area, when sweat breaks down the bacteria, it causes what? Odor, okay? It's a chemical reaction. Okay, Bill Nye the science guy. Uh -huh. So this is what I was using to do that, just to take care of that. No scent, I know sometimes I feel like I don't smell anything. I don't feel anything. Is it working, right? It's not gonna give you that noxema, menthol, tingle, almost burn type sensation where you feel, okay, it's doing something. It's not going to scrub you down like, oh, what's that What's that facial scrub that we all used to do back in the day? Oh, I can't think of the name. You probably think, uh, what? Ive, Ive, Ivory, no, Ives. St. Ives, mm -hmm. It's not gonna be cutting you down like St. Ives, you feel me? But does it work? Absolutely. And I was doing this. I mean, I do something like this in every shower. So in every shower, I am using some sort of BHA on my areas. Okay. It is just part of my life. It's part of my routine and I love it and it works so, so well. Another Inculus product is this Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Very good to hydrate the skin. I use it for the face and I'll bring it down to my neck and chest and I'll even put some on my arms if I need to. Very, very good. It draws in moisture, helps to hydrate the skin. This is great for me and my skin all year round, especially in the winter time. Make sure you're stocking up on your hydrating products for body and skin because we're going into the cooler months and it's just time. But if you have dry skin all year round, then it's been time, like your time been up. Now, you know I'll be washing and conditioning my hair a lot. Okay, praise the Lord, I just recently had a silk press. You saw that already, and I washed my hair today, and I slicked it back. But yeah, you know, I'll be taking care of my hair and stuff. I love this Tresemme conditioner because it's huge, and it gives a nice slip to the hair, a very, very nice slip to the hair. And again, I wash my hair so much that I like a big container. I've been blowing through stuff so fast that when I get a big container, I just know it'll last me longer. That's just what it is. I mean, I will blow through, like, like I have the Fenty stuff right here. I still need to actually use. But let's see, if this is a conditioner, this might last me like four washes, maybe. Maybe, because I like to use a lot of conditioner and then really comb my hair without pulling it too much. Uh, this right here will last me like maybe two weeks and that's maybe like six washes. You know what I'm saying? So it lasts a long time. I love it. I have it on subscribe and say through Amazon. It comes and comes and comes. Links, links to all these items are down below if you want to pick anything up. And then I use this by Amika. This is really good. This is actually a refill that can go inside the actual container. It is the bond repair conditioner. Bond repair is really good if you have breakage in your hair. It'll help to repair the bonds to help your hair not break off. You feel me? This has a matching shampoo, which is in my shower right now. That's not, it's almost done. It's not done yet. And this is the bond repair conditioner. It smells really good. Feels really good on the hair. Great product. You know me and my dental hygiene routine. I don't play. I don't play when it comes to my, first of all, I don't play when it comes to my personal hygiene routine. And it was funny because I was in the shower yesterday and I was like, I look forward to showering. I look forward to just doing myself, just, just doing me and just being me. I actually look forward to it. It doesn't feel like a chore. Granted, I'm sleepy and I don't feel like doing my nails, right? But do I hate doing it? Absolutely not. I was looking forward to going to shower. I was looking forward to, to exfoliating my body and to, to shaving. I was looking forward to the whole nine yards last night. That is so crazy. That is a great place to be, to look forward to knowing that after this routine, um, my skin's gonna continue to feel soft and supple and hydrated. I'm gonna continue to look and feel youthful. I just, I was just so happy and I said, this feels good. So I hope that if you are doing any semblance of my routine or anyone's routine that you've seen on social, I hope that you enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, take some items out or add some items in that'll make you feel happy to do it. You feel me? It shouldn't look like a, it should look like a chore. It should be, because my routine is extensive. You feel me? And I've seen some more extensive that ain't that ain't good English, but you get me. I've seen some that are more idea. So I know that mine is not the most calculated. So at home. For a normal person, it is very uh, intense. And I know that already, but anyway, when it comes to dental hygiene, you know when it comes to that, play no games. And I love this. I love this mouthwash. It has double chambers. It is a zinc activated breath rinse. It's funny, I went to the dentist yesterday and I got a cleaning and the doctor always tells me this. And she's like, very, very minimal cleaning. Your gums look great, your teeth look great. I mean, we were just we were just chatting, literally. She didn't know we we're talking, okay? That's what we were doing. So I give God all the glory that I don't have those problems, all right? It's gonna be all day confidence. It's really, really true about no morning breath. I don't have morning breath when I use this. Here's why. We need to be flossing our teeth, okay? I floss so much now that when I eat, I have to floss. So I'm not waiting until the even time to floss. I'm flossing after every meal, even a bag of chips. 
because I don't even like how it feels to have food in my teeth. And that is part of enjoying just the overall hygiene routine because why do we have bad breath? Now, that's barring any medical issues, which obviously I do recognize could be a cause, but just as a feminine woman, I love feeling and smelling and looking and just good just good you feel what I'm saying and this is one of the ways I floss all the time I make sure I brush and I clean my tongue you know that already my dental hygiene routine link down below you know how it goes here's the QR code in case you want to scan if you watch it on television it's just a must and this is really great you pour it into this you've seen me do it you pour it in it has a green and clear and then you, when it goes in your mouth and you mix it it does something girl it does some kind of chemical situation and it definitely is gonna make sure and I do it twice a day and you're not gonna have one breath you know when we sleep our mouths our mouths are dry and that's a great place for bacteria to grow so you're gonna feel like hmm it's the morning time you feel what I'm saying but it shouldn't be like you shouldn't be like damn what is that you feel me you shouldn't be scared to talk you shouldn't be scared to, to breathe or to sneeze. It shouldn't be that kind of situation, you know? So now that I, I've been doing my routine for a long time, so now whenever I hear someone just talk about morning breath uh, on social or just in person, I'd be like, you know you don't have to have morning breath. I mean, we're used to having it. I, I grew up having it, you know what I'm saying? But when you know better, you do better. And that's why I always talk about this routine that I do because it's important. We don't have to just settle for morning breath. You, you shouldn't be having it. You feel what I'm saying? It did, unless you did your routine and went and ate a bag of chips and then all of that bacteria just festered overnight. Yeah, in the morning you're going to have something tangling and tangling. But not if, you, not if you're taking care of your situations, especially using that. Come on. It's, it's a done deal. Now, this is from Kerastase. This is a hair product. This is the 8-Hour Magic Night Serum. Very, very lightweight on the hair. I use this after I've washed and conditioned my hair. I put this in during the day because, you know, if I do my slick back, I'm going to wash it out the next day anyway. So I just let it sit in. I mean, it is a leave-in product. It gives a nice, again, slip to the hair. Great if I'm going to corner my hair down while it's wet, right? This is while it's wet. This is a while it's wet product, right? Not a hair's dry product. And it just feels really good. It feels really good. It feels really nourishing. I love Oh my gosh, Laura Mercier Kitty sent me some more of this. Oh, I love this scent so, so much. Wow, Almond Coconut Serum Body Cream melts right into the skin in the most insane, delicious way. The shine, the melt, the softness of the skin, the scent. I cannot talk about this enough. It is so stinking good. You wanna smell good when you lotion your body? You wanna have a shine? You wanna feel like a million dollars? Okay, should I hit y'all with the very demure, the very cutesy? I have not done that. This is my first time saying it, okay? This is so freaking good. I've gone through so many of these. I need more. I have the hair mist and I have the body. Is it the perfume? Yeah, it's a fragrance. Oh my gosh. Just, you ever like something so much you don't want to use it? I have to really go up, get away from that. I've got, I've come a long way. I've come a long way from this is so good I can't use it. I love this so much. What if it runs out? I've come a long way, but there's still some things that still hold me in chokehold. And this is one of them. I have the hair mist and the body spray in the kitchen because I have a little situation over there just as a touch up thing when I'm over there in that area, whatever. And I don't be want to use it because I be like, again, I don't want to use it, I don't want to finish it, but this is so good. <sighs> I just, I'm like, I'm pissed off. I'm actually really ticked off because it's that good. I'm not lying to you. Almond, coconut, sweet, it, it just, it smells like a dessert. And if you love gourmand, if you love dessert-like scents, oh, that, and it reminds me of grown, grown, grown folks. This grown folks is more smoky. Okay, so it doesn't remind me, but the idea that it's a gourmand, you know what I mean? Just so freaking good. Amber Hayes from Fleur was a shocker. I love this so much. I'm realizing more and more how much I love Amber. This smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. This is so freaking good. I blew through this. I need another one. This is so good I'm, I'm pissed off. This is so good I'm pissed off. Yeah, first it was a question, then it was a statement. Both of which are very true for me right now. This is so damn good. Wow, yes, I love Amber. I love Amber. Anything with Amber is for me. What, 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 what is that, okay? Praise the Lord. Then we have Sal Gennaro, Brazilian Boom Boom. You know what's Boom Boom? It ain't Bum Bum, baby. We get in the wrong, okay? Tell the people to tell their friends, to tell their friends that it's Boom Boom, okay? Mm, 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 mm. This is just tried and true. This is gourmand. This is warm. A tinge spicy, in my opinion. Vacation, home. Again, vacation yourself at home. 
You feel me? If you don't have money to go on a vacation, vacation yourself in the house. Okay, vacation yourself in the crib morning and night. We're not waiting to be in the islands to wear this. We are going to wear this now. It is fast absorbing. It is delicious. No pilling, just smells so freaking good. Pair this with the matching, I say matching, but you know what I'm saying. Pair with the identical body spray or pair with a different one. I love this so much. I have the body scrub. And this is what I mean. It's one of those things where I be telling myself, this is so good, I don't want to use it. I've had that body scrub for how long now? I had another one and Fendi took it from me. And she should have because she's like, you're not using this. And I'm like, well, I plan on it. But she kept seeing it. She's like, you haven't used it. Let me just have it. And I'm like, fine, just take it. And I got another one and I have not used it. I need to use it. But it just goes to that whole saving thing. Can we stop? Well, name one thing down below that you're saving that you like so much that you don't want to use. Name it down below. I know you have something. I know you do. This is not just me. If you grew up poor, you know what it is. If you were going to the to the corner store with, with food stamps, the paper, not an EBT card, the paper. You had to rip it out of the whole packet and go to the, the corner store. If you had food stamps, then you know what it is to be like, nah, this is special. You know, this is like, this is this is exclusive. You can't use this too much. So anyway, here we are. Okay, got to be glue. You know, this is one of the key components of my slick bag. That and this which is done honey i have to buy another one i love this huge container because i go through these so much okay eco styler gel got to be glue and the wrapping strips those are the three keys to my slick back that i do oh well okay there are four keys because then i also do my topic care filler in case you don't know or haven't seen the video the topic care filler is also what i do anyway but for the, the laying it down part is these things and then that's just for the edges oh, yes, because the edges mm -mm. Then I have to be this cast and this kind of thing, okay? Ooh, another leave-in is by L'Oreal L5 Hyaluron Pump. What? Hyaluron Plump. What? <laughs> Hyaluron and Plump. Yeah, it has hyaluronic acid in it and it plumps the hair. Two times of hydration, leave-in leave for dry and dehydrated skin. Oh, ooh, not skin, hair. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed because when I think of hyaluronic acid, I'm thinking of hair, skin. Hey, I'm confused. Anyway, great slip to the hair. I love to use mainly the front of my hair because I have so much breakage there. And no, I'm not gonna stop. Okay, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Praise the Lord. All right. This is a skincare product from Paula's Choice. It is their Pro Collagen Multi Peptide Booster. This you can drip, drip, drip into your facial cream. Let's say this was a cream, and you know you can take a little few drops, da, 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 pump, 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 mix, 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 and then put it onto your face, or put it onto the face, and then put your facial cream on the face. You can do that, right? But I was doing this before on the face, and then putting my cream. So either way works, but when it's a booster, that's what the intention is, to boost up the, the hydration of your product. So it would be, it'd be boosting up the hydration of your moisturizer, okay? Very, very good, love this, and it's done. Oh my gosh, I was blowing through this by Catrice, this tinted lip oil. Matter of fact, I think I even put some on today. I was digging into it. I've been into the colored tint lip products on a no makeup face. And that is odd because if you've been here for any number of time, you know a while ago I would have never and you gotta get up in here. I would have never because I always felt like either it's a full face or not. So the idea that I look like I had something on because I have on a brow, right, way before I got microbladed just felt so odd to me. Cause I'm like, there's no makeup on. Why do I have a brow? Because you know, I, I shave my brow. Okay, that's just for me and my face. So when it comes to the lip, I felt so odd having a light pink tint to my lip without makeup. I thought that that was just so bad. Like, why are we here? Why is this happening? But, you know, times have changed. You know, what's that did when the tables were turned? What's that did when the tables were turned? You know? So now I'm into that. I'm into it. Catrice Tinted Lip Oil Gloss and Glow. I love it. I have so many of these tinted and then Fenty sent some new ones. Oh, and I have some here from Notorium, by the way. I have not tried them. I plan on it. I'll show you. These are all of them. They're tinted. I think they're gonna be so cute. I have not tried them out. I do plan on it. Okay, and then, oh, I have two more things. Hold on. Okay, this is looking real sketchy because I had it in the shower. Is this water grind? What's it called? <laughs> okay, well, you get it. Okay, don't look too hard. This is the, ooh, ooh. Okay, this part. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I had it in the shower, so it's looking a little crusty. This is very good. A little goes a long way. Love the scent, very luxurious, luxurious, just luxurious feeling. I've been using Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm for a long time and it just feels expensive. Again, 
I enjoy the skin and body care routine. Why not use products that make it feel like a luxurious experience? I mean, hello, duh. And then I blew through this these Elemis Dy Dynamic, the Elemis Dynamic resurfacing facial pads. And like I said, because it exfoliates the body, I was taking one pad and not on my face, but I was using this on the body. So on my elbows, back of my neck, my ears, you know the groin i know it's not that's not what it's for that's what i was doing okay the armpits because when you exfoliate your skin you're also lightening up what dark spots and are we getting our ears are we getting our ears comment please let me know are you cleaning your ears i will say in the shower i'm not always washing my ears because my hair depending on my hairstyle on my hair to get wet so what I will do is wash my face, wash my body, my neck, right, all of that. And then when I get out, I'll use something like this and then wipe my ears. I'll get inside the crevices, in here, the side, over the back, you feel what I'm saying? And then I'll go like in this area. Imagine how often this area gets missed. Because you wash your face, you shower, you might not get right here. You know what I'm saying? Behind the ear lobe where the earrings are. Girl, go like this. <laughs> I'm just, we, we gotta talk about it. We got to talk about it. Because I mentioned to you how there was a time, there was a story online about how somebody went and tried on some sunglasses and then the arm of the sunglasses smelled. I don't want that for you. Cause you're not, I'm not gonna have that experience. And I don't want you to. I don't want you to be that person. Okay, we have to do better. And I'm believing in you. I believe in you. I believe the children are our future. And so are you. Here are two fragrances that I finished. Can you imagine how often I finish a fragrance? We got Kayali. Oh, they're the same. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize it. They're both they're both vanilla 28. Wow. I didn't realize I had too many. Ooh, look at that. I'm putting this in my nose. Vanilla 28 is so good. It's so intricate. It ain't your basic, you feel me, vanilla extract. It's very just I can't open it. Oh man. I can't. Mmm, it's like smoky. Mmm, it's smoky. Vanilla 28 is so good. Look at me, let me not pass out, hold on. I'm doing too much sniffing, this is so good. Anyway, that is everything. Now I can finally clear off, clear off this place. So annoying, ah, okay. All right, let's wind down. Let's wind down, because it's late. Girl, it's time to do my nails again. If you know, I have been doing my nails for over four years now. I started doing color, and remember, I used to do long color nails or short colored nails, pinks and purples and red. And then eventually, I decided to stick with something more neutral because there were times where if I had a campaign and the brand asked for nails not to be too distracting, then I'd have to take the nails off and do it all over again. So I said, you know what? Let me find a nail shape and style that I love that I can do again and again. And that's why you see me always doing this French tip because it's just so classic. So I found these nails on TikTok, honey, and they're on Amazon and I love them. They feel nice and thick and the shape is so beautiful. I do stiletto. I have done coffin before and I've done the shorter version of this, but I love the stiletto. I think it's so sexy. At first I thought it was just too pointy and it just would poke me and scratch me. No, it doesn't. Because you saw me buff down the tip, so that's important. So I take the nail out and then I measure every finger to see what nail is gonna go where.
and then I use nail glue. You can use a gel glue, which will make these nails gel X nails at home. And what you'll do is cure every finger one by one. But I like to just do the glue because that's what I'm used to doing and I stick to what I'm used to doing, okay? And it's important to wipe the nails on the side if some of the glue spills over onto the finger. Then I will paint a base coat gel on the nail. I used to do builder gel, but builder gel just gives you too many issues. Sometimes it's uneven, sometimes it peels off the nail, it's annoying. And if you don't know, the builder gel is great if you want to make your nail thicker. It'll make it feel like you have acrylic or maybe gel eggs, okay? I haven't ever done gel eggs, but you can do the builder gel if you wanna give it a shot. I just stopped doing it because I wanted to make this process easier. And then I do a top coat of gel, which adds the shine and then I cure each hand for 60 seconds and that's it no need to wipe it off with alcohol you're good to go And of course we need cuticle oil because that just makes it look pretty and keeps the hands looking good. And I love this set, what do you think? 